guys, welcome back to the channel. It's, we've got something really, really cool today. We've got that beast right there, an M5 with the ultimate package on it. And so we're gonna start today's video with a zero to 60 with some farts and bangs. Let's get straight into it. Jesus. is that uh, that X5M. That is badass, man. Sick. All right, so this is Jonathan Godfrey. Jonathan, what's going on? Yeah, how are you Th guys? Thanks a lot for uh, showing us your, your baby here, your baby girl. Um, what can you tell us about the car? We've already heard the car, but what can you tell us about, uh, about the specification of it? So this is a 2015 M5. It has the ultimate package. Um, it's got the upgraded carbon ceramic brakes with the M, M titanium exhaust. Okay, nice. Let's take a little look-see here. Yeah, so there's uh, carbon ceramics on it. Make some noise. Uh, but they stop really good. Yeah, um, for sure. What's what's the color of it? It's called black gray. It's actually a BMW individual color. Okay, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then you got your black tints on there as well. Yeah, you got the windows. Really good. Um, Any idea what the weight of this is? Just comparable to the to the six thousand pound X five M there? I would say it's got to be like in uh, mid to high four thousand pounds. Okay. Okay. Yowzers. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, it's got 560 horsepower, I believe, and 500 foot pound torque. So it does. Uh, Five, on a 560, yeah, yeah, 560. So it goes. Yeah, it puts the power down pretty quick, eh? Right? Um, oh man, everyone's leaving at the same time, eh? Right? No joke. <laughs> no joke. Even with the rear wheel drive, it, it hooks up pretty good. It's got 295s yeah. on the back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's 0 to 60 in uh, 3.7 seconds. 0 to 60, 3.7 with real wheel drive. Yeah, with the real wheel drive. So I guess the new that's all wheel like, drive is what? Three uh, and a half, 3.2? Yeah, so for the normal one, it's about uh, three and a half. And for the comp, I believe it's like 3.1. That's insane. And so these quad exhausts, is that a, is that a titanium sports that's exhaust? A, yeah, full M titanium exhaust. Full M, just like the M4. The M4 was wrapped in carbon fiber, but I believe it had the titanium underneath, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. These are nice. These yeah, are the really titanium nice. gives it a really good sound, especially with the twin turbo. Yeah, we heard that. M5 badging, something special. It's a little bit dirty now, but. Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. It's just, just the price you pay for living in Toronto, living in Canada with it. Looks really, really good. Thanks, uh, what do you think? You wanna jump in and go for a little boo? Let's go for a spin. All right. All right, so just a just a quick little sort of B-roll shot of the interior. So it's got the full extended uh, leather for the dash. Extended um, leather. And it's got uh, the M embroidered into this into the headliner on the yeah, seat. Yeah, so yeah, that looks see. really good. The X5 had that as well. Yeah, um, this is, looks a little bit more plush with this extra piece here, though. Yeah, it's really it, good. It's it's very good on turns. These things hug you. And it doesn't let you go anywhere. Very good. The back seat's pretty usable. Oh yeah, and they're heated too. Yeah, the heated seats in the back yeah. as well. Very nice. It's got the upgraded uh, sound system as well. So yeah, when I started off, awesome. you could see. Let's take a look at that. Up. Look at that. That's a really nice feature. I think the X5 had Harman yeah. Kardon. This is Harman banging Kardon, off. Yeah. And that's quite a substantial uh, upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that good on gas, nice. as you can see. Yeah, <laughs> you're always, you're living at the gas yeah, station exactly. on this thing. All right, sick. Let's see what she can do. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the comfort mode, the most efficient mode. Okay. So it has the M adaptive suspension, so it's more, it's adapts to the road, so it's more smooth in this mode. Okay. Um, adaptive suspension, yeah, interesting, so okay. I believe the M4 has that as well. Yep. So, the, so it just rides over bumps a little easier. A little bit easier, yeah, it's not as stiff. 
Okay. Um, and and the valve's shifts. closed in this mode? The valve's closed, yeah, and it shifts a lot earlier. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's just a lot easier to drive. The steering wheel gets a little bit looser. It's not as, it's not as, uh, the throttle's not as sensitive. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it's still, still got lots of power in this mode, just uh, when you put it in the sport mode, it really opens everything up. So this is more when you got the family, when you got the wife exactly. or something in there. Yeah. She, she doesn't want to hear all the bangs and yeah, the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the cool thing with this car is it's like, um, it can be a very low key five series car when you want yeah. it to be and just drive it as like a business car. Yeah. And then when you really want to put it in the M2 mode, you can customize all your settings yeah, yeah. and the thing just turns into a completely different it's type amazing, of beast. Eh? Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yeah. it's like split person. It's like also in the in efficient mode, it actually, uh, I don't like it personally, so I turn it off, but it, it will turn like the car can shut off. Uh, it's oh, like okay, stop, at the stop start. and then the second you let your foot off the brake, it turns back on again. Yeah. My wife's Audi Q5 has that, Q3 has that, I can't stand it. I turn yeah, off as soon I, it's as off. I get in. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, yeah, I set it right away to be off because uh, yeah. it drives me crazy, especially if you're in traffic. Yeah, it's just on and off, yeah. on and off all the time. Exactly. I'll uh, put it in sport mode here. Okay. So it's just one button on the steering wheel. Okay, so sweet. Just, uh, there's M1 and then there's M2. So M2 is a customized setting. It's just programmed for And you. then I got that full heads up M display. Uh, that turns that turns in everything's yeah. a lot bigger so I can yeah. see the RPMs and stuff. Does the heads up uh, go away when you're inefficient? Or is it uh, and no, there? it just gets a lot smaller. It doesn't show you the RPM. It also has shifting points, so it tells me it goes from green, yellow to red, so it tells me when to okay. shift. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. That's huge. That's amazing. So I'll give you a little uh, pull here. Yeah. After this car. Especially when it's only like 15 to, degrees out. She wants to get squirrely oh, yeah. so quickly. That's crazy. Yeah, it uh, turns into a whole other beast in this mode. Yeah. I never really uh, turned the traction control fully off. The, the cool thing I like about the BMWs is they have like the medium traction mode. Okay. So it's half. Okay half traction on and then it kind of gives a little bit more loosen up yeah, so yeah it kind of will save you from wrapping around a pole because when it's full traction off it uh this car is pretty scary it's dangerous yeah right? oh yeah 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 we might have a little open road here okay let's see what she can do there we go Feel this, you can feel the shifts kick you in the yeah, back of the seat too. Yeah. Do you drive it on the, are you on the paddles right now? Yeah, I always nice, on the paddles. Nice. Only time I'm not on the paddles is when I'm just driving in efficient mode. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. All right, man, so you said you've had this car for a couple years. Any plans going forward? Well, the M5 Comp, the new uh, 2020, uh, is pretty cool uh, since it has the all-wheel drive system. Yeah. So, uh, but this thing's pretty special with the, with the individual color on it. But uh, maybe in the next year or two years, uh, maybe look forward to like an all-wheel drive system. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing I like about the new M5 is that you can program it, like it has a thing where you can go into drift mode, so it makes it fully rear-wheel drive as well. Yeah, best uh, of both worlds. Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. All-wheel drive would be nice, and then I, it'd be a pretty fun car in the winter, but yeah. in rear-wheel drive, I don't know, things a little bit sketchy in the winter, so. Yeah, have yeah. you ever considered, like are you, are you only BMW, or have you ever considered an E63S? Have you ever driven one of those? I've never driven the C63S. E E63. The E63? Yeah, the uh, sedan. I've never driven the E63, but it's a very nice car as well. Uh, just I, just thinking about like competitors yeah, and that oh, yeah. sort of things, right? 100% I'd consider that car as well. It's uh, yeah. it's a a little bit different of a, a little bit different of a motor and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, and Mercedes focuses more on like the luxury and the, and the interior. Sure, so the interior is yeah. a little bit more updated and stuff. Um, it's very, they're both very beautiful cars though. Yeah. Well, you guys, uh, anyone out there in YouTube land who's got an E63S and wants to chime in with some comments, uh, feel free to let us know. Uh, or if you, but even better yet, if you've got one and you want to let us drive it, feel free to reach out. <laughs> or if you want to race. <laughs> or if you want to race this thing. <laughs> or, um, Hopefully next time you see me, I'll have the, the 2021. Yeah. With the all-wheel drive system. Sounds look at all those good. cars over there. Look at all that. Oh my God, look at that. How's that for finishing? Chrome wrap. Oh my God, and then an Urus at the end.
on that note, boys, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to that channel, listen to Jonathan, and smash that like button. And we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.